Hello, Capricorn. Welcome to Dove and Serpent Tarot. My name is Paul. If Capricorn is your sun, moon, or rising sign, this is your tarot card reading. Please hit the like button, leave a comment, consider subscribing to the channel, especially if this reading resonates with you. It is totally free. It does not cost you anything. If there is anything you would like me to pray over or meditate upon or send positive energy toward, please let me know. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so try to be open and receptive to whatever may come through during our time together. I am merely the messenger, and I ask you to connect directly with each of these cards and use your own intuition to take you beyond the details that I might provide. And remember, Capricorn, that the most important part of any tarot reading is you. And a Ten of Wands. Um, I feel exhaustion. I feel that there's tension. I feel like there's the, a backache. I feel like there's just a lot of energy has been expended somewhere. Okay? And I feel like you've been giving, giving, giving of your energy. And there's just not much left. Right? Let's put this into some context. Let's see what's going on with this energy. Where is it going? Well, it's going into a garden of some kind. Um... It could be the Eight of Pentacles here. It could be that you are putting all of your effort into, um, into restoring something, into healing something, into growing something, building something up, nurturing something. could be that you're a caregiver. It uh, could be that you're taking care of uh, family members. could be that you're taking care of a bunch of kids. Um, there's your power. There's your superpower card. And it's part of your superpower, I think, in this case, right? Fire to earth, manifestation. You are committed. You are so enduring. And you have such stamina with something that you can give 110% to something for the rest of your life. I mean, it's just, you can go nonstop. But I feel as if, I feel as if a shift is coming. Yeah, we've got that moon card. We've got this change. We've got this. It's kind of like um, it's up here. It's the new moon. It's darkness. You're kind of just saying, I just want to go anywhere but here. I'm, I'm just so exhausted and tired here that I just want to take a lonely walk into, you know, the wilderness. It doesn't matter what the future. This is a future that's uncertain. We don't know what's coming next. We just know that we don't want it to be this anymore. Okay. Sunlight. We want freedom. We want to go on this journey into the unknown, into the darkness, into the abyss, and find ourselves again. I feel like you've been giving of yourself so much to this. Maybe these are. Maybe this is a family member. Maybe this is a job. Maybe this is again. Maybe you're taking care of a bunch of kids. Um, I feel like you need to go find yourself again, right? Restore your energy. Okay. Figure out what your long-term plans are. Princess, Prince, Three of Wands, Hanged Man, the, the Sacrifice, right? The Sacrifice. Um, I don't know why, but you feel obligated to stay here. I don't know what it is. If it's Maybe it's family. Maybe you're taking care of a sick family member. Maybe you're taking care of somebody that's injured. Uh, it could be a spouse. It could be, um, I think it's represented by this Prince of Wands. Um, and maybe there is a sense of obligation here because that Prince of Wands, maybe they were always the one to take care of you. And now that's, now you're taking care of them. Um, I don't know what the connection is with this person. It feels like they're probably a contemporary with you. I don't know, maybe a sibling, maybe it's a spouse. Um, it could be a parent or somebody that's older, but it feels like they're younger now. It feels like they're, they're kind of, they're more your level a little bit rather than being somebody that's kind of older, you know, because I think there's just a shift in the, the dynamics here with this person. Okay. I don't know that they're a fire sign. They could be, but it's, I don't think it's necessary. It, to me, it feels like somebody that was once very active and now they are not. So it's like they got, they got brought down a notch somewhere, you know? Um, 
This could be a work thing, too. It might be. But the point here is that you've been giving 110% of your energy to something that is uh, nurturing and supportive to someone or something else. Okay, now let's select our mystery card, bonus card, confirmation card. This is a random card from the Smith Waite Tarot. We're going to put it down right here. We're going to put Kevin, aka Mr. Bates, right there on top. We're not going to look at that card until the very end, but it will tie everything together. It will give us the confirmation that we need at the end of the reading. If at any point during the show you feel like you know what that card is, put your comment down below. Um, and we'll try to do it together. Right? We'll make it a group exercise of intuition. Now, let's look around the room. We've got a couple of major arcana cards. The moon, the sun, the hanged man. Um, this is kind of the choice. This is what the hanged man is. Are, are, we, are we sacrificing ourselves, our future? And it's kind of like the, the knight of your power card, the knight of pentacles here, wants to get up and kind of look over here at the sun card and think, I, I, I have a future. I have long-term plans. I have goals. But it's hard to see them when we're looking through this. Okay, There's nothing wrong with this. But I feel as if... Um, I feel as if you're, you're ready for something different. You're ready for something new. You're ready to start pursuing your goals, finding yourself, and getting back on your path again. Okay? The hanged man kind of has to choose whether or not to sacrifice you and who you are and what your future is for what you are doing here, maybe out of some sort of obligation or I don't know. Um, it's feeling a little bit like a family thing, but it really could be a work thing too. Or it could be family and work, or friends and work, right? And we've been obligated, we've agreed, we've given our word that we would help with something, or that we would do something, or that we would stick around. Um, and now it's just kind of like it's been going on and on and on. It's like, okay, where's the end? You know. And so your power card here, your superpower is to be able to see the future. But I think it's kind of like, gosh, where's my superpower? I can't see the future here. I can't see what's, what's at the end. It might be that we're looking through this tunnel, trying to see the light at the end of the tunnel, where if you look up and over it, yeah, you can see it. But looking straight ahead, this is dense wilderness. You can't see the future, right? You can't see where you will be, who you will be, or what you will be doing down the road. You can't see through the thick branches and the foliage here. But if you look up, you know, through this dark tunnel, you can see that there is light at the end. We just don't know in a very practical way how we're going to get through that tunnel. So it's kind of like, yeah, in theory, we know. But in practice, how do we get through this? Okay, how do we get? Well, sometimes the answer is within us. And it is this princess of wands. This is the urge. This is the impulsiveness. This is saying it doesn't matter how you get through it. It just matters that you start. It matters that you just, you, you take the first step in that direction, you know? Uh, so this could be anything like um, just kind of starting to create that end game, the exit plan of this thing, okay? Start putting things in, in motion. Start just setting the intention even. It starts with just making the decision, right? And that decision is going to take you into that thick, dark wilderness, which is that moon card, which is the unknown. It's not certain. We don't know what's in there. We know that there is light at the end of the tunnel. Now, because this is a very significant change for you, this is really the threshold of a really kind of big, big move. Um, it's a doorway. And for that, I want to do one of these divine doorway cards. These are wonderful little oracle cards or affirmation cards. My wife gave these to me. Um, and we're going to do one, I guess we're going to do that one, uh, to give us a message about this moon card. It says, what does it say? Uh, it says 1111. Numbers in doubles, synchronicity in two. Don't hold back your love now. Life is meant for you. Pass this card on. Um, interesting. 1111. Numbers in doubles, synchronicity in two. Don't hold back your love now. 
life is meant for you. Um, interesting with the doubles, right? Numbers in, in doubles, because I, I'm feeling kind of that, well, especially here with the with the 10 uh, of wands, because it is a doubled energy, right? It looks like it's kind of a five plus a five. There's the two right here in the front there. Um, so it seems like maybe this is that kind of a, um, a partnership in a way. We even have the idea of the moon and there is a secret moon card in the tarot. This is the, the moon, but this represents the new moon, the darkness. The high priestess is the other moon card. It's the full moon, right? And so there's this idea of kind of, of doubles, of synchronicity. We also have, of course, the, the prince and the princess of wands here. And we have this ten of wands. Um, it sort of feels like there's um, maybe a bit of codependence going on, you know? Um, this could be a situation that it really, we feel driven to break off on our own. Um, to find ourselves again, to find maybe our independence, right? But even this card, see, we got the twins down there at the bottom uh, showing that kind of the double, you know? Um, I think we're looking for ourselves again. We're looking for our creative will, our light, our force, our future, our long-term goals, right? And um, it's kind of like, you know, the... The doorway card is telling us not to hold back. Not to hold back. Life is meant for you. What is the sun but life? Right? Life is meant for you. This is all of your light being put into this situation. I think we're, we're nurturing something. We're, we're providing care somewhere. We're helping to heal or restore someone or something. But I feel like it's been going on a while to the point where we're no longer able to really see the end game. We're no longer seeing kind of the exit plan here. And that's what we've got to do. There's some apprehension on your part. We've got this princess of swords down in your general energy. We want to, but it's kind of like we're not sure how to start. And the solution, of course, is this, the princess of wands. Two princesses, right? One is not sure how to start, kind of shaky, kind of trying to take that first step, but it's just kind of not so sure-footed. The Princess of Wands is all confidence. Stomping around those steps, stomping around the, the tiger here. Um, very confident. Neither of these cards really know where they're going or how to get there. But one is kind of timid, one is rather confident, right? And that, I think, is the... Um, the solution here is to just start making plans, start pushing forward, start doing things that lead you in this direction of that exit. Okay, we're not, we don't know how we're going to get there, what it's going to be like, what we, what we're going to encounter. Right, it's still darkness, but we realize that life is meant for us. That we, we realize that it is our fate to return to ourselves, our sense of self our sense of destiny, our sense of a self-directed life, you know, our sense of power, the, the future that we want, right? So we're traveling up the path of the serpent here, and the, the final thing is going to be that question of whether you are sacrificing of yourself for this uh, whatever. Maybe this is the job, maybe this is the friendship, the relationship, the family thing, the, whatever it is. Um, it, it's going to come down to a choice here, okay? And um, it's a difficult choice. Three of Wands here in kind of the obstacle position because sometimes your sense of, I think you're a very principled person. Very, you're very, um, you have your own your own sense of of right and wrong, yeah. And sometimes those principles tell you you stay here. You committed to this, you obligated yourself, you gave your word, you stay there no matter what. You don't break your promise. The other side of you is saying, the first promise we ever made was to ourselves. It's a spiritual promise that we will, um, that we will find ourselves, that we will have this kind of spiritual experience of life. And we're, so we have an obligation to spirit, to ourselves, to our own soul, our own life force, right? 
At the same time, you have this obligation to whatever this commitment was. So there's kind of an ethical dilemma, you know. When is it okay to break a promise? You know, and um, I feel like that's what the Princess of Swords is really trying to figure out. Whereas the Princess of Wands is just like, I don't, I don't feel there's any ethical problem at all. I feel like it's absolutely right to pursue our relationship with ourself above and beyond any other promise we've ever made in our lives, this has to be number one. But there's that part of you that just says, well, I don't, I don't know if, it, if that's true or not. So it really does come down to this kind of uh, ethical dilemma for you. Um, the hanged man here at the end, and this is, the hanged man likes to, um, kind of likes to, the word I'm looking for. Um, not suffer, doesn't like to suffer, um, has a, a particular fondness for sacrificing self, okay? Um, is so immersed in this that it's really identified with this and almost to the point where this feels like fate. This feels like this is my destiny. This feels like what I deserve. This, this is it, you know. But this card can easily turn around and we can emerge from this situation triumphant. Okay. And triumphant in a way that it's not just, I mean, it kind of, I don't know why, it reminds me of this card too. They, they seem very similar to me right now. Triumphant in a way that isn't just like, aha, I won but in a way that is, uh, frees us from any kind of guilt or remorse or any kind of, like, um, um, not responsibility, but it doesn't violate our, our principles, our, our sense of right and wrong, you know, that we've, we've meditated on this, you know, to the point where we know what we have to do and we know that we're doing everything for the right reason and that it is for the best for everyone involved, really, at the end of the day, you know. But I don't think that it feels that way in the moment. It's going gonna, it's gonna to feel that way later. But right now, I don't think it feels that way. And I think it's this, I think it's this Prince of Wands. I think there's somebody in this situation that is um, maybe throwing the guilt trip on you maybe trying to appeal to your sense of right and wrong, your sense of duty and obligation, uh, your sense of pity and just saying, you can't leave, I need your help. There's, I cannot do this on my own. Um, maybe you work for somebody who their business is struggling and you're the one really holding the whole thing afloat, you know, keeping the whole thing from, from failing. Um, but you can't be responsible for that for your entire life, right? And so I feel like that's kind of sort of what's going on with you. I want to look at the mystery card. And I want to see if this is maybe going to be, um, oh gosh, uh, maybe some water energy, you know, maybe an ace of cups. But I really, I honestly don't know. Maybe I want to see another Capricorn superpower card, either a Knight of Pentacles or the devil itself. Let's see what we have. If you have a prediction, put it in the comments. Well, the Ace of Swords. Um, there is certainty. There is clarity. The answer does come to you. But which way are we going? Which way are we pointing? And it's really, it's a kind of a confirmation of the hanged man energy too. Which way are we deciding? What is the, what is the choice here, right? And I don't think that you've been in this kind of a situation before. I feel like this is, this is a this is new a new area for you. It's just like you feel kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't, and it's just what's the right thing to do. This doesn't give us the answer, but this is telling me that you will find certainty and clarity in this situation. You will have a direction forward, and. You will move in that direction. Now, whether that is here or there, I don't know. Right? But this does have a solution, and you will find it.
Now we're going to do an extended reading. If you want to stick around, there is a link in the corner. There's one down below. New readings for Capricorn every Thursday and Sunday, 6 a.m. Chicago time. I'm here every day. Come back and see me tomorrow. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It is totally free. It doesn't cost you anything. Okay. Leave a comment for me. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know where in the world you're watching from. I want you to know that you are the most important part of Dove and Serpent Tarot. I thank you and I love you. And we're all in this together.